What is going on, you guys? It's Abor Rebirth here to bring you, as always, the latest Bleach anime slash manga news. And today we got a bomb. After many months of silence with us just waiting to see what would come of Bleach and with the news of Bleach being pushed from Studio Piro to Piro Films, which albeit still in the same studio overall, is a slightly different approach, we were looking for any bit of anime news and what to look forward to. Because we had questions. Well, when is the anime coming back? How is the change in studio going to impact how soon they can give it to us? Is production okay? A ton of questions. Well now, while we don't have all the questions answered as we would like, we do have new bits of information. So as you can see here, Anime Expo tweeted this today around 12 p.m. noon. That was a scheduled tweet. It went out 12 noon exactly. Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, The Conflict Panel, presented by Viz Media. Join voice actors Derek Stephen Prince, Robbie Damond, and Xander Mobus as they revisit parts 1 and 2. Don't miss major announcements around Bleach and a sneak peek of part 3 during this panel. In this video, I want to talk about what this might mean, what we might expect, and maybe what could possibly be a hidden message within this tweet. Now, of course, I will say that I have no scoops. I am not a leaker. I do not have any inside information. I just analyze the information as we get them. I know as much as you do. I just break it down maybe differently from how you might. But as always, if you enjoy the content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, the biggest thing that I want to get out of the way here is the sneak peek of part three aspect of this. Now, this event is going to take place on July 6th, so we're still approximately a month out from getting this, but it follows in line with what happened with Bleach official Core 1 trailer 1, because if you remember, the first thing they released was the was the Bleach Thousand Year Blood War preview, which was at Jump Festa. And then the next time we actually saw an official trailer, the first one, I believe, was at New York Comic Con. Which was very odd when they did it then because they essentially gave the West the right to be the first people to release Bleach information as opposed to Japan, even though it's a Japanese anime for the Japanese audience. This is the second iteration of that. Unless something happens between now and June 6th, the West is going to be the first people to see a sneak peek of part three before even the Japanese audiences do, which is interesting. This sneak peek is going to be important because I have a few questions. First of all, I have to wonder, what are the chances of this being pre-animated or not? Now, I'd like to believe, and honestly, I see no reason to believe that it's going to be pre-animated. And so most likely, what we end up seeing in this sneak peek for part three is going to give us a better indication of the quality we're going to get, even more so than the teaser we got at the end of Core 2. This sneak peek, this preview, whatever it is going to be, is going to be the best indication of the quality that we might ultimately get in the anime once it actually airs. Another question I have about this is that does us getting the preview now mean or make it more likely that we keep our 2024 release date for Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Part 3? Because all through the promotional material that we've been getting since the initial establishment, the Bleach would be 2024. With all the changes in the personnel and with all the different studio that it's now in Piro Films and this and this and that, they've constantly kept that 2024 date. Now, maybe they were just doing that because, again, we don't know, so we're just trying to stick with what we already said. But with us getting the preview now, does it mean that it's very likely that Bleach still airs October 2024? Again, I don't know. I'm just posing these questions. I'm just putting it out there. If you have an answer or you have a perspective, please feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. Yet another aspect of this sneak peek that has me very intrigued and interested is what impact will Bleach moving to Piro Films have on the overall quality of what we're about to get? Can we trust that moving from Studio Piro to Piro Films does not indicate a drop in quality? Is it possible that it indicates an uptick in quality? I don't know. Again, this preview in so many ways has so much that it needs to do. Now, another thing I do want to talk about here is the fact that there is an event taking place on June 13th where very interesting characters in relation to the Bleach production are going to be present. Now, I have it up here on screen for you guys to see. Ichigo's voice actor Morita, Yoshihiko Tominaga, the Piro film's producer. Now, this is quite important here because Tominaga is the producer for Bleach. But not only is he merely the, the producer for Bleach now, he's also the producer for Puro Films, which is a sub-studio that has been newly established, roughly newly established, to handle Bleach and certain projects. He's going to be here. So Puro Films, Yoshihiko Tominaga. Um, Puro in charge of licenses, Mr. Takuya Miwa. 
Weekly Shonen Jump Editorial Department, Keiichiro Takahashi, TV Tokyo Animation Division, Junya Ishimoto, Freelance Announcer, Niki Matsuzawa. Now, the key component about all of this here is that these are very, very important individuals who seem to be coming to this talk show, YouTube video, whatever. It basically feels like an advertisement for Puro Films. It feels like, hey, we have this new thing called Puro Films. And so we got the voice actor for Ichigo, which is the first major adaptation that Puro Films is going to be working on. You got the voice actor for Ichigo. That's your talisman. That's your face. All right. That's the guy who is voicing Ichigo Kurosaki, your flag bearer right there. You've got the producer for Piro Films, which is Tominaga, who's also the producer for Bleach. You've got somebody from Piro. You've got the Shonen Jump editor himself in Keichiro Takahashi. And you have a member of TV Tokyo there as well. This seems like a prime advertisement ploy to say, hey, we got this new studio that we're trying to do. We want investors. It would make a lot of sense to get something Bleach Core 3 related at this event as well. Now, I am not a leaker, so I am not saying that it is. I'm just posing my mindset out for you guys to assess yourself. Is it likely? Is it unlikely? That'll be for you guys to decide. I'm just saying I would not be surprised if they put something out. Maybe not a PV, maybe not a trailer, but maybe something, a key visual, a date, something. Because the setting makes too much sense. If you're trying to attract investors and if you're trying to attract people and eyes to this new quote studio that you're trying to start with Bleach being the first of it, it would make sense for you to bring something Bleach related to this event. But we'll see what happens. I just wanted to put it out there so you guys recognized this other thing that could be happening. Now, if you read the Anime Expo tweet again, take note of this part. It says, don't miss major announcements around Bleach and a sneak peek of part three during the during the panel. Now, I don't want to just read too much into a tweet. And so I'll preface it all by saying, maybe I'm just reading into it too much. And you know what? If I am, I apologize sincerely. However, that's not what we do here. I will give you everything I can surmise and everything that I can extract from this. I will pose it to you. It's your responsibility to choose what you want to believe, what you want to take as fact, what you want to actually consider. I am interested in this part right here. Don't miss major announcements around bleach that right there it differentiates itself from the sneak peek of part three and so not only are you getting this part three sneak peek there's also major announcements around bleach now this may matter less but it says the premiere and the panel would take place on july 6th 2024 from 10 a.m to 11 20 a.m so it sounds like what we're doing here is going to be an hour and 20 minutes they're gonna have to fill an hour and 20 minutes of time now again what possible other announcements could there be? Here's a second point. Look at this picture. Down here at the bottom left, you see Bleach 20th, you see the Bleach 20th Anniversary Project logo, which is also very interesting to me. Why is this interesting? Because we were told that we would get further announcements in relation to the Bleach 20th Animation, uh, 20th um, Animation Project that they were doing. We got the Locus of the Brave thing, we got the musical, we got a bunch of stuff already. But the fact that they have this down here, it makes me wonder, is, it, is there a possibility that there is another announcement in the works for this occasion? Now, you might say, well, what could these announcements be? Again, I'm just putting stuff out there. Bleach Rebirth of Souls is a game that we've been sitting pretty silently on for a while. Could Bleach Rebirth of Souls, the video game, be in relation to this? For all we know, could Bleach Soul Resonance be in relation to this? I don't know. Could could a remake be in the works here? I don't know. Could It could be anything. I'm just saying. They seem to differentiate between a sneak peek for Core 3 and major announcements for Bleach. Those are two separate things. And so it makes me wonder. It genuinely does. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys there with that. July 6th, Anime Expo. We're getting another preview for Part 3. Fact. We're also getting a bunch of other announcements which we are interested to know what those announcements are. June 13th, all the big shots in relation to Pure Films are going to be on this talk show, YouTube stream, whatever it is, and we might get other incredible, incredibly important information in there as well. So keep your eyes peeled. If you're not subscribed, you should be subscribed. If your notifications are not on, you should turn them on because anytime there's any breaking bleach news, you can rely on me to bring it to you as fast as I can. This is your boy Rebirth, signing out until the next video. Peace out.